but I'm not sure that hopefully I'm back. That was a little glitch on my part, everyone, because all of a sudden it said my speakers are muted and I didn't know how to get them back. So hopefully I'm back and hopefully you can hear me. (laughs) Claudia will, okay, Claudia says she can hear me. That was really weird. And of course that happened like 30 seconds before. Okay, anyway, this is Sue Broom. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Angel Talk with Sue on International Angels Network. And I'm your host, Sue Broom, and today is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019, and I am your host, coming to you live from Southern Arizona. Actually, am I in Southern Arizona anymore? I am not in Southern Arizona anymore. I'm kind of in the middle of the state now because I have officially moved I'm like northwest of Phoenix, so kind of like smack in the middle of the state. And it's been absolutely beautiful here. I'm getting used to all of the new sounds in the morning. There's little quail that go by and birds that I hear. And the scent of the orange blossoms has still been coming in the windows and is absolutely heavenly. So... I am very grateful that I am moved and I'm getting settled and it'll get better as time goes on. <laughs> I am really over moving though. So, but it's all good. It is all good. Now, I am an intuitive healer and a spiritual teacher and an international best-selling author and I do private sessions and workshops as well as I have my deck of cards, the desert Speaks Oracle Deck, and I also have another book coming out, which is what I'm going to talk about tonight. So you'll hear about that in just a few minutes. Now, I also love helping others connect their loved ones because your love connection is already there, and I help you continue that connection even after they have transitioned to the other side. I do that through my book, Signs from Your Loved Ones, as well as I have two courses. One of them is free, Memories Shared with Your Loved Ones, and the other one is called Channel Writing with Mom. It takes your connection to your loved ones on to different levels. Now, you can find out more about me at excuse me, internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash Sue. Or you can go right to my website, suebroom.com. Of course, I still have the windows open, and you can hear somebody is making all kinds of noise outside. (laughs) Claudia says she can't hear the, oh, she can hear the beautiful birds. And I'm sure that you'll you'll be able to hear the blower that somebody has, but hopefully they'll just go by and be done. Now, some of the things we explore here on International Angels Network are spiritual entrepreneurship, fairies and angels, astrology, numerology, spirituality, spirit guides, our loved ones, and so much more. If you would like to be a guest on the show, you can go to internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash guest. And do I need to close the door? If I do, Claudia, please let me know. (laughs) Because it's getting, I can hear it really loud. Uh, Yes, please. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. That's as good as it gets because it's all closed now. So hopefully hopefully that helped. Now, you can tell that we are live, 
and I will be taking your calls tonight at 1-516-453-9162. And for international callers, just be sure and press the 1 at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, now he turns it off. Well, I think he's going to start up again. Again, the phone number, one 516 Four five three nine one six two, and if you want to ask a question, you can press number one to get in the queue for mini readings. And remember, these are general mini readings. You can also Skype into the show for free from anywhere in the world. You will see the Skype icon if you are on Blog Talk Radio, and you just click the Skype icon. It will take you in to the show, and you can just press number one to get in the queue. In case you missed a show or you want to re-listen to your reading that you had or re-listen to any parts of the show, you can go to iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Chartable, Listen Notes, Overcast, iHeart, and our website, internationalangelsnetwork.com, as well as blogtalkradio.com forward slash International Angels Network. Those are all the places where you can listen to the replays. And you can also set it up so you automatically subscribe on your phone to most of those replays. Also, today's live show is brought to you by Audible by Amazon. And you can get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com forward slash international angels. And there's over 450,000 titles to choose from. That's for your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle, or your MP3 player. So again, audibletrial.com forward slash international angels. And then also I want to give a big shout out to Sunday Sturgeon, she is the sponsor for International Angels Network, and she is the founder and CEO of Holistic Light Rejuvenation, and she has a series, a book series called Warrior Women with Angel Wings, which you can check out her all her previous books, and then she will have a new one coming out soon, I think sometime in April maybe, um, but you can go check all of that out at Warrior Women with Angel Wings on Amazon. Now, tonight I wanted to talk about my new book coming out Friday. So today is April 3rd, Friday is April 5th, and on my Facebook Live page, Empowerment for You, I will be doing live sessions and these are all Arizona times. I, I have them all spelled out, or I will have them all spelled out on Empowerment for the number four you page. And I'll also share it over on uh, the International Angels Network because I have an event already set up on my page. And 9 a.m. Arizona time, and it's 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 5 o'clock. Those will all be in the event. I am doing giveaways. I'm going to be giving away one of the 52 weeks of gratitude journals. I'm going to be giving away 52 weeks of gratitude cards. I'm going to be giving away one of the Desert Speaks Oracle decks. And here is, I think, I can't remember if I had this last week or not, but here is a copy of my book. I know there's a little bit of a glare, but it's the experience book, 21 Days of Beautiful Experiences from the Angels. And it is, when I got it in print, it's just something about holding your own book in print. It's just really cool. This book, it's all about short experiences that the angels wanted to share with us and what they what I mean by that or let me explain what it is when I sit down to do my blogs for Monday mornings they've turned into be channel writing sessions basically from the angels and the angels it's like okay guys you know what do you want me to write about 
And sometimes they would like me to experience something and then either I will write about it afterwards or as I'm doing it, I'll be writing about it. And that's what this book has turned into it. And it's 21 days different experiences. For example, and there's a couple of them that I, I want to touch on tonight. Um, one of them, in fact, there's, there's several of them that have love in the, in the name. And in fact, there's like probably half a dozen of them. But there's, there's different levels of love, it seems like. And I think when it's mixed with, like one of them is experience, love, peace, and calm. And one is experience, love, peace, and harmony. And there's just little nuances, little differences. And I know that you will find when you get this book, because I know you'll want to get this book, there'll be different experiences that you will want to do over and over and over again. There's one called Experience the Stars. And it's really, it actually reminded me of the card that I pulled today, and I've already mixed it in. But the card is reaching beyond the stars. And I thought it was interesting. I mean, that, that one I absolutely love, and I love the other thing that I did with the book, and I can show some um, close-ups, is there are mandalas that also are in the book. And there is a different mandala. Some of the experiences actually have multiple mandalas. For instance, this was ease and grace, experience the ease and grace. So there was a mandala that wanted to come out for ease and grace. And then there was another one for ease. And yet another one for grace. And all of these mandalas I created. I found an app. I love the apps that are available. I found an app and I was able to create them. Here's the one that goes along with Experience the Stars. And this one is so amazing because you actually do feel like you are out in the stars. It's like you truly just leave your body. And one of the things that the angels really wanted for this book is it's part of your toolbox, but it's also it it's a tool a toolbox all in itself because there's 21 different experiences, and you can do start at the beginning and work your way through and do one every single day, or you can page through it and see which one you want to do. Most of them are short. And that's one thing the angels, I I love how succinct they can be. But this one, this is the ease and grace. That's all there is. The only thing that's on the next page is your angels. That's all there is to it. And you can be taken to such a place. Now, I can't remember. I, I might have touched on this last week. There was uh, A couple weeks ago, I was still in the midst of, well, I still have a bunch of boxes around. But at that time, I was still trying to find a place to live. And I was trying to start things. I was, you know, I was going here. I was going there. I was going there. And I wasn't getting anything accomplished. And... It's like, oh, Sue, you have this fabulous tool to use. And I knew exactly which experience I wanted to do because I knew the feeling that I wanted to be experiencing. It wasn't the chaos and the drama that I was feeling. I wanted to experience the calm. And this is, this is a very short one. And I sat down. And at that time, I was sitting out in the Arizona room in my in the old house, which I'm now sitting in the Arizona room in the new house. 
I sat down and I read through the experience. And then I sat down and, or I went through and I did it. You have to read through it and then you can sit down and do it. And this one I'll share with you because it is really short and I know that you'll like it. So find yourself, if you are in a comfortable place, good. If you are driving, just listen. Please do not close your eyes. So what the angels say is, today we wish to help on the days things feel out of control. So close your eyes and focus on your breath. Bringing it to a steady in and a steady out. Notice the swirls of energy all around you, like waves in an ocean. Notice how high they go, how far reaching they are. Now imagine and notice the waves falling upon a, upon a sandy beach. They may come in strong, but they fall away and dissipate as soon as they come onto the shoreline. Notice as the water hits the shoreline, much of it disappears into the sand, being soaked up like a sponge. Notice as the water slowly goes back out to sea. Focus your attention on the calming of the shoreline as the wave almost falls into the sand and disappears. Allow the calming of the waves shifting, changing, and disappearing to continue to be your focus. And then the angels say, stay here as long as you would like and come back as often as you would like. See how short that is? And yet, there's such a healing effect that happens just by going through this. A couple ways that you can use this, besides what I was saying, go through it or find the one that you like the best and go through it. You can also go through the same experience multiple days until you feel like it's ingrained in you or you can pick a different one every single day. Another thing that you can do with these is you can take your phone and you can record your own voice. Just walking through the highlights of it because it'll kick your memory and it'll get you in that mode that much quicker after you've done it a couple of times. This book is truly a tool. I know that uh, someone, I don't know if she's going to call in tonight or not, so she has, she's on my launch team, so she's been reading through the advanced reader copy of this as well as she has the deck of cards. And one of the cards in the book is Calm. She said she'll pull the Calm card from the deck and she'll go to the book and do Experience the Calm. So the cards in the book are really talking to her about, hey, you need to do this. And if the card is saying, hey, do this, and you're not sure how to do it, the experience book will help you with that. So some of the other experiences, we have um, experience of stars, which I said, and the love, peace, calm, and love, peace, harmony. There's experience your angelic team. We all have a team of angels that are here supporting us. We don't see them. Well, some of us do, some of us don't. Sometimes you see sparkles. Sometimes you might catch a movement out of the corner of your eye. 
but your angelic team is always there supporting you. You can also, as we've talked about on past shows, is specifically call on certain angels. There's experience looking beyond. Experience ease and grace. Experience a connection. One of the things with being human, with being here as a human, we have the connection with others and with our angels and with our loved ones and with our spirit guides. But one of the things with our connection is we want to experience the connection we have with our higher self as well. And it's really important. The people that come into our lives, the connections that we make, helping us grow, helping us move forward on our path. We have experienced feeling loved and filled with joy. Experience a connection with a loved one who doesn't love having that connection. Experience a boost of love, energy, and appreciation. There are times as we're going throughout our day, we might need that little boost of of energy. And there are several of them experiencing the angel's love. That's one of the things that they have, um, they have told me time and time again, that we as humans, we forget that the angels are here to love us, to support us, to help us go about our day. Now, so last week I wasn't live, and you guys did not, unless, if you didn't see me last week doing the the lives on the 52 weeks of gratitude, you didn't get to hear the story about how I found this house, so I'll I'll do the short version in case, um, in case you heard it. So I had been, this is, this place is two and a half hours from where I used to live, and I was coming up here about once a week looking through houses, and I probably totally looked at, I don't know, 10 to 20 houses, and wasn't finding, wasn't finding, wasn't finding. There was either something, either the price was a little weird, or um, there was, you know, it had a carport versus a garage, or something, you know, something gross about it, whatever. And I had come up here, it was Thursday, a week ago, was it a week ago yesterday? I'm I'm really kind of off on my days. Um, yeah, I think it was a week ago. To, a week ago tomorrow, I had come up here, and two weeks ago, and didn't find anything. And I got back Friday. I was doing some other stuff at, and packing up, you know, whatever. And I thought, you know, I just feel like i got to come up here on Saturday, which is like I really don't want to because it's a lot of driving. It's a long day. It's five hours in the car, just the driving to and from. But I really felt like I needed to come up here. And I had told a friend, I kept seeing this little for rent sign that somebody's just going out and putting out at the front of the house. And I'm going to be driving by, and I'm going to say, oh, excuse me, do you have a house for rent? You know, kind of like the old, excuse me, do you have Grey Poupon? (laughs) You know, kind of like those commercials. And I thought, oh, I talked it over with a friend. I said, okay, just check in, see what you're getting. And she was getting the same thing, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll come up here. And, of course, I, I made sure that I was in a really good frame of mind and excited about coming up here on Saturday. So came up here on Saturday. I was driving around in this new area that I had found on Thursday. And I kept just turning down the streets that I was drawn to. And I I was only drawn to one side of the street. And I looked over and it's like, oh, yeah, because it's all grass over there. And this is Arizona. I prefer having the Arizona landscaping. I don't want the grass like they have in the Midwest. So it's like, okay, that makes sense why I'm drawn over here. 
and I was taking a right-hand turn. As, as I'm turning to the right, I glance over to the left, and on the corner of the street is this little sign. You know those little signs that have the little wire and you stick them in the ground? And it said, two bedroom, two bath, pointing down the street. And I was like, huh. And I swear, right as I'm turning and I saw that, I was like, it was surreal. It was just like surreal from from uh, that point. <clears throat> and I turn and I made a note of the, you know, the number of the house and I go down and pull outside the house and the big garage door is open, the little garage door going into the house is open and I can hear people inside. And so I walk up and I say, excuse me, is anybody here? And they said, oh, yeah, come on in, come on in. And they said, so two bedroom, two bath? And they said, yeah. And she goes, go ahead, look around. We just bought the house two weeks ago. And the previous owner, it was a for sale by owner, um, but they had just bought the house two weeks ago. And so I'm I'm walking around, and it's like, oh, my gosh, I'm loving this. You know, it's like houses that I've been in before where you walk in, and it's like, I want to live here. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm really liking this. And she's telling me a little bit about it, you know. And then I said, so how much is the rent? And she tells me. And I'm like, what? Because it's $200 less than what I've been paying. And I'm, I'm like, what? She said, well, you know, my husband and I own six six or eight properties and we want to make sure that we have, we're very particular to who we rent and we want to make sure our renters are happy and, and we want them to stay. I'm like, okay, can I write you a check? <laughs> she, I, she goes, no, we have an application. So it's like, okay, well, let me fill out the application. So I made sure I filled out the application before I left. And in fact, um, she said uh, for my current rental company that I was using, she said, um, do you think they're open on Saturday? And I said, well, I don't know. Let's call them and find out. So I punched the number and hand her the phone. It's like, here, Tara, are you available? Here, chat with <laughs> chat with Christy. <laughs> so hand her the phone, had, had that part taken care of before I left. And I went and ate lunch. And as I'm eating lunch, I'm going, well, did the house have this? Did the house have this? Did the house have this? And I, I'm like, I was so out of my body. I, I have to go back. And I was just on the other the other side of town. So it's like, I'm going to go back and I'm going to walk through the house again. So they kind of laugh at me and I come in and I said, yeah, I just have to ask some more, some more questions. And I'm asking her and she goes, oh, by the way, we pay for water. Oh, by the way, we pay for the sewer. Oh, by the way, we pay for the trash. And I'm like, huh, okay. So uh, that was on a Saturday. They approved me Sunday morning, so I was able to share it with my Facebook Live folks. And Thursday, the following Thursday, so a week ago tomorrow is when I moved. And then by Saturday, so by one week later from when I saw the place, I had internet hooked up. That's following your guidance. That's listening to the angels. That's trusting in what you're getting. And it's truly an amazing story. And I'm so glad I can share that. That's the love of the angels. And I truly do feel going through the experience book, doing the different experiences, allowing yourself to connect with the angels more and more, you get that stronger connection. And you'll be able to follow the little signs, <laughs> the little two bedroom, two bath down the street. <laughs> and this neighborhood, I'm loving it. It's really quiet. All the people on this street are here full time. So there's not any empty houses, which that's awesome. So for those of you, the experience book, I will be doing, like I said, I'll be doing Facebook Lives from the my 
Empowerment for You page, Facebook page, on Friday, this Friday, April 5th, starting 9 a.m. is the first time. And I, like I said, I will be doing giveaways. So hopefully, hopefully you will be able to join me and have some fun. All right. So let me see. We got some, uh, I'm going to give you the phone number one more time. One five one six four five three nine one six two, and make sure and press number one to get in the queue. So some of the things coming up, on that are some of the things that are happening, I should say, is we have uh, for, let's see, free membership for thirty days with an audio book, plus two Audible originals, exclusive audio guided wellness programs, which includes free audio meditation. So that's pretty awesome that's going on right now. If you are searching for a spiritual practitioner, we invite you to go to the International Angels Network directory. It's readers, energy healing, teachers, mentors, coaches, metaphysical online store for the mind, body, and spirit. You can find out more about the directory as well as the membership at internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash directory or internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash membership. Also, just to let you know, Diane Morgan and Susie Parrott, they have the five classes available that have been recorded and they are on energy, the Claire's, the tools to help you connect to the angels, the intro to the angels, guardian angels, archangels, and they do have PDFs and helpful exercises and visualizations. So if you are interested in checking out any of those classes, you can go to uniteinthelight.com and find out about the pricing and which one you want to take and sign up and all that good stuff. Coming up here on International Angels Network on Thursday, we have the Alex Levy Show. Saturday, we have Angelic Light with host Susie Parrott. Sunday, we have Mystical Connections with Claudia. Tuesday, Angel Navigation with Diane Morgan. And next Wednesday, you have me again, Angel Talk with Sue, with a topic and readings. So with that... I think I am ready to take calls. Let's see what we got. We have Miss Kama from Arizona. <laughs> you had me crack it up when you were like, I wonder if she's calling in. <laughs> oh, were you already listening? You were so funny. <laughs> I was like, I didn't I didn't say it was that you conversation. <laughs> I guess I hadn't said who it was. I just said somebody. <laughs> oh, oh, funny. So what do, what do we got going on, Miss Kama? Well, I had an epiphany today, <laughs> which I'm just slightly terrified about. I don't want to work oh, in no. my field anymore. <laughs> well, that's... You know, if you're done with it, you're done with it. Yeah. So I went from 17 years in child welfare to almost four years in adult protective services. <clears throat> and, you know, I've done a lot of good, but I'm just, I'm exhausted. I want, it just came to me today, I'm done. I'm just done. But now, now what? <laughs> well, and here's here's the thing that, um, and this is one of the things. Actually, um, I I can't remember. You read, I think, week thirteen out of the the fifty two weeks did. of gratitude journal. Yeah. yeah, that was that was the time, and uh, when you know, in the corporate world, it was tough, and yeah. there was a lot of turnover, and it, it really it all boiled down to me finding the positive in what it mm-hmm. was. And 
that it, hit it home doesn't for me when I read that. <laughs> it's it well there because there's so many there's so many people that are in jobs either that are unhappy or that are going through a transition right now. And you've definitely been a tra- in a transition mode since since you've been calling in for the last you know year and a half couple of years. Um, yeah, you've been in a transition mode. So looking out of, out of all of your past jobs and, and sitting down and writing out what are the feelings, what are the things that you have really appreciated, that you've been grateful for, and it doesn't matter what it transitions into as long as the feelings that you enjoyed if those are the things that you're bringing forward. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I know that you're going to go on this big, big vacation. Uh, <laughs> that would be a perfect, which has perfect shifted, time. But it's, it's shifted. So now it's in June and it's to Mexico. <laughs> oh, way, well. way down in Mexico, like on the coast. So... <laughs> Um, so I guess Hawaii may be later, probably not in September during hurricane season, but later. Yeah. I'll get well, there. That, that'll I'll be, get there. You'll get there. That's right. You'll get there. Well, let's see what card we got for you. If it says vacation, I'm just going to giggle. <laughs> <laughs> back of the card and the thing that I always appreciate when the card that comes up is the same one that's on the back of all of the cards it's Mm -hmm. really it's like super enforced it's it's like it's amplified and this is really standing standing in who you are and it's it's like I don't know, there's something about this card, too, that um, right above where the D is and stand, it looks like mm-hmm. there's a heart. It truly looks like it's a heart. And it feels like your heart is expanding because it, it's, the heart is like in the middle of this light. And I feel like that's what's happening to you. The more you stand up, for what it is you believe and what it is you want. And not only what you want in your life, but the people you want in your life, the people that you want to be around. Mm -hmm. And standing tall is also about boundaries. You know, I was like, I'm not going to put up with this anymore, whatever that is. And that's what I'm kind of feeling like at work that, that, you know, and I get it. I, I understand in part why it's going on because we were, I work in a hard, hard field and, you know, I've got the director like pushing us in ways we don't want to go. I, just for Friday, I mean, I've been in meetings all week and Friday I had three more added into my calendar without even a conversation, you know, and I'm just, you know, I was telling my boss today, who is fabulous, I was like, I'm just, you know, if they understood what we did, it would be one thing, but they come from the business world, and this Mm -hmm. is investigating social services, so Mm -hmm. they don't understand, but they're reacting, you know. They, They don't understand real life. Right. And right. And and all you can do is control yourself, how you're reacting to things. Mhm. And stand up if you know, if there's if there are things that need to be said, say them coming from a place of love. And I think that's also why the heart is showing up in the card. Mhm. Um but Say them from a place of power and confidence as well. Mhm. Yeah, that makes 
total sense. Every single mm-hmm. time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful uh, card. It, it is. And I'll tell you, you know, because you have swirls around you, you know, maybe you should go just search out a saguaro and and just acknowledge it because they are so awesome. The, mm-hmm. You know, the, the plant in and of itself, I actually have one in my backyard, but he's very young. He's only, um, he's not even 50 because he doesn't have any arms yet. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I don't think they get any arms until they're at least 50 years old. So... He's actually too young to live in Sun City because you got to be 55 to live here. But <laughs> but, but yes, yeah, awesome. go search out a go search out a swirl because there's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of life in them as well. And you might I don't know. I almost just feel like you just acknowledging one, you might get some more information that that you need to hear from from within. Okay. So I will there's your home. <laughs> okay. All Thank right. You Thanks so much. much too. Okay. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. <sighs> All right. So if anybody else is listening and you want to ask a question or get a mini reading, make sure and press number one. To get in the queue, and again, the phone number, 1-516-453-9162. And what I am going to do is I am going to pull a card for everyone that's listening that's either too shy to um, ask a question or something, and all the people that are listening that will be listening on replay. So let me see what we get. I also pull a card every single day. I pull a card on Instagram. And I think my Instagram is just Supram44. Oh, my gosh. Kama, you are going to – Kama, I hope you're listening. This is funny because uh, now you'll notice I did not pull this for you, but for everybody else. So the reason I'm laughing is because Kama says she's been pulling this card over and over again, and she's going on vacation now in June and last. Week, two weeks ago, I think it was in May. But so, pulling the vacation card for everyone else except Kama, because she already has her scheduled. And this is, uh, for one thing, this picture, it makes me think of bananas. And it's not bananas. And I think now what kind of, um, it's an aloe vera plant, actually. It's an aloe vera plant that was in the front of my house at the other house and aloe vera is very healing for those of you that um, because for some reason I'm drawn to tell you about aloe vera versus the word on the card being vacation but aloe veras are very healing they're the, the plant where you can actually cut them open and they have the gel in there and you can put it on a burn or on a sore you can also if you um, take out the gel, you can blend it up with water or juice and drink it. It's it's supposed to be so so healing internally as well. So and there is something you know about vacation going on vacation. There is something very healing when you are on vacation, and you're not having to think about um, work. <laughs> Sometimes it does take a couple of days to get in the mode of vacation. And if you are in a situation where you can't take the time or you um, don't have the finances, what you can do is do a staycation, they call them, where you can stay at home and take a vacation and just treat it like a vacation. The other thing is, I'm going to I'm going to reach for the experience book again and, and talk about I know that these none of these are experience of vacation however when if you are to do any of the experiences out of this book like the one that 
I walked you through before, experiencing the calm. If you do something similar where you get your dream vacation in mind and maybe even sit down and write out some details about what that vacation is, what it feels like, what it looks like, what, you know, what scents. What are you going to smell? Are you going to smell the ocean? Are you going to hear the waves of the ocean? Are you going, you know, whatever it is, are you going to hear the, the, um, the toucan, those, uh, like the toucan from the Fruit Loops commercial, whatever kind of bird that is? Um, get all of those things listed out on a piece of paper and then allow yourself to experience the vacation. And it, that's also, it has to do with um, really manifesting. If you can get all your, all your things listed for your vacation and go through and experience it, and you can do that every single day until you actually get to experience it in the real in the physical, but the one thing that is so interesting, this, this is not Sue making it up, this is, this is fact that our brains do not know the difference if it's real or imagination. So if you are experiencing the vacation in your mind, you are truly experiencing the vacation. So Claudia says she had cellulitis in her leg and it was creating a hole and she cut an aloe leaf and wrapped it around her leg and the open wound healed completely. Okay? That is amazing. And she said um, that there's there's so many different other things that they had worked on, nothing worked, aloe vera. So aloe vera is truly an amazing thing. So... Um, I know that they have aloe vera juice, too, that you can buy in the store. I don't know how pure it is, but the aloe vera could just, especially those of you that live in um, Arizona, you can find an aloe vera. I don't have any in this. (laughs) I do have an orange tree, a grapefruit tree, and they just planted a lemon tree. So that probably won't since it's only about two feet high, that probably won't get lemons for a while. But I will have grapefruit and oranges galore in the fall, I can rest assured. And aloe vera can be diuretic as well. So lots of healing that goes on with, um, with, aloe, with the aloe vera plant. All right. So there are no other callers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go through another experience. Um, But again, phone number 1-516-453-9162 and then press number 1 to get in the queue. So this is... This is a short experience, another short one. The angels are so funny. The short... They're short... This is experience the stars. And so again, if you are in a place where you are driving, please do not close your eyes. If you are in a place where you can close your eyes, you can most certainly do that. So this one is experience the stars. Sit quietly and close your eyes. Breathe in and out several times to release any tensions you are holding in your body as well as breathe in the loving connection to all things. Imagine all the stars you've ever seen in front of you and surrounding you with the open expanse of space. You can sense you are moving forward slowly as it looks like you are passing some of the stars as you move through space. 
There is nothing you need to do. Just observe as you move slowly through the stars. As you move past them, you notice there is an energy that connects with your inner knowing. There is nothing to do. Just be. Observe. Allow yourself to be in this state as long as you would like. When you are ready, connect with Mother Earth and wiggle your hands and toes and open your eyes. And then the angels say you may want to journal about this experience. This one is really, even as I'm reading this, I can feel myself going out into space beyond the stars. And you've heard the expression, reach for the stars. The angels want us to go beyond. Even in the cards, one of the cards is beyond the stars. It's like, and I I remember that card when I was writing it. And that's what I thought it was going to be. And I wrote it and it's like, no, that's not right. It's beyond the stars. So just imagine if you were walking out in the night, in the darkness of the sky, among the stars, walking beyond the stars. It's not like you have to try to be anything or do anything. Just be. Just notice. Notice the stars. Notice the open expanse of space. And notice as you're feeling that, as you're doing that, how do you feel? Do you feel expansion happening within you? An expansiveness? growing it takes you out so far beyond it really is beautiful and these I love these experiences because they are short but there's so much healing that happens In that short amount of time, it takes you out of whatever was going on in your mind, in your brain before that. And like I said, the other thing with, I got to show you this one. The other thing with this book is there's the mandalas. This is one of the experiencing the angel's love. There's actually three different ones. There's another one of the angel's love. I believe, so there's 21 experiences, and I believe that there's like 35 or 36 mandalas in the book um, that you can, you know, and you can also make copies of them so you can, do them over and over again, or you can do them in the book, whatever you prefer. All right, I know we only have a couple minutes left. I want to pull one more card for everyone. We had the vacation with uh, aloe vera, and let's see what what other card we have. Okay, that one wanted to come out because that one just flew on the floor. Let's see if I can pick it up. Uh, I love that this one came up. It's all about clearing our energy. And the thing that's about this card, it, it's the top of a cactus. I think it's a barrel cactus. And it looks like the colors of the chakras. 
starting with the red and working its way out, orange and yellow, and moving on. And with the clearing, yeah, my chimes are going off. See the chimes? They're solar chimes. Remember, they're solar chimes, and the sun is going down. So, uh, yeah, they're going off. The clearing our energy is so important because, you know, when you're going about your day and all of a sudden you feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm, why am I so tired? You know, or um, you're in a happy mood and you go to the store and, you, and all of a sudden you realize it's like, why am I so grouchy? Well, clear your energy. And the angels are continually reminding, and this is coming up over and over and over again, And the reason why is because so many other people are spewing their energies. Either they're not paying attention to what they're doing or they're clearing their energy and they're going, and it's coming on you. So clearing your energy throughout the day, especially for those of you that work outside the home and you have to go someplace else to go to work. Clear your energy. Clear your energy while you're there. Clear your office space. If you have an office, clear that. If you have a a cube, clear that. Or clear your desk space. Or do the Les Nessman where he used to put the tape, you know, so you have the energetic tape around and clear your space. And when you are getting ready to leave the office and come home, make sure and clear your energy. You can set up filters so you walk out, you walk through a doorway, and you have an energetic filter set up so the crap from work stays at work. And as you walk through the filter, your energy is cleared. So... When you get home, you're not bringing the work energy with you. I would also make sure to clear your energy when you get home anyway and clear the energy, clear your space at home. There's been past shows that I've done working with Archangel Michael on vacuuming and clearing the energy. He is awesome. In fact, he's so awesome. I worked with one one gal. This was several years ago, and she sent me a message after it was. I met her at I think I was doing a, a fair or event, and we talked about Archangel Michael and vacuuming. And she said when she got home, her house was vacuumed. So that's how powerful Archangel Michael is with clearing the energy. So everyone, have a fabulous week. I will be back next week on Angel Talk with Sue on International Angels Network. Have a wonderful week, Angel. Blessings, and hopefully I will see you Friday, April 5th for the launch of the experience. Good night, everybody.